Hey guys, um, so I know that I haven't been making any videos since last year and this is actually my first 2013 video tutorial. Um, I've been really really busy so I do apologize for that. Um, but thank you to those who had subscribed and is still subscribed to my channel even though I haven't, you know, made any recent activities on it. Um, yeah, so this look is the look that I'm going to do. I have been doing this look for about two to three weeks now and I've liked it. If you have small eyes or chinky eyes and you want to exaggerate or make your eyes look bigger, this look really isn't the right look because this will actually make your eyes look smaller. This look is actually inspired by Stephanie from Bad Girls Club, but her, since her eyes are a little bit um, smaller, they do look a little bit different, but so like I said, this is just an inspired kind of look because I like how her eyes look on that, on her on the show uh, from Bad Girls Club season 10, Atlanta. If you guys watch that show, um, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Although I don't do the crazy um, thick eyebrows that she does, she can only pull that off. I can't do it <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, pretty much that is it. Uh, so keep watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hi. So for my eyebrows, I'm using my Milani Easy Brow. Normally what I do with my eyebrows, I don't, um, you know, draw in it or whatever. But since my hair did get a little bit lighter, like um, a light brown, I decided to start using this just to um, kind of change up the color so my eyebrows are not too black. Um, but I'm, I don't try to draw on them or anything like that. I just kind of do it to change the color. So I do it very subtle and um, kind of like do little strokes just to um, add some color on my eyebrows so that it'll be kind of somewhat even to my hair. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my primer like I always do. She got a key to my place, but... Okay, next step, I have my Lancome sample um, palette, and as you can see, this one is almost gone. Not really, but it's been used up a lot, and that is because I've been using it a lot for this look. Um, so I just take a thick, fluffy brush, and I apply this all over my eyelid. And I'm also going to blend this up to my crease. I forgot to apply primer on my lower lash line. If you have a jumbo white pencil or any kind of white pencil eyeliner, go ahead and use that. I'm This one is Wet n Wild Color Icon in white. So I'm just going to apply this on my lower lash line and my waterline. If you want to add some extra effect, you can also apply this on your tear duct. And a little bit on the lower outer corners of your eye. Now that that's done, it's just time to focus on the eyeliner, which is the top liner. I did change my gel liner. I am now using Wet n Wild by Fergie. So um, it didn't come with a cover, so I used my old one. I really like this because it's not too greasy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wing create a long wing so if you feel this area right here or the um, outer corners of your eyes you can feel the bony part so um you're gonna start off from like 
up here which is kind of close to your eyebrows but you don't want to connect the wing to your eyebrows you want to go a little bit halfway down so I'm gonna make a dot so like right here so from this area I'm gonna wing my I'm gonna start the wing from here and line it draw it downwards Now it depends on how thick you want the liner. Since my eyelids are uneven, I will be drawing the liner all the way till right about here, which is a little bit more than halfway uh, to your eyelid, to my eyelid at least. Make sure that your wing are either exactly or close to even be even so kind of just you know measure it out and then I'm going to apply my false lashes sometimes I don't even um, apply my mascara because it's really not necessary but um, I'm using my Ardell lashes in 105 the same false lashes that I've been using forever because I like this product this is my favorite eyelashes um, I do cut them. I don't use the hole, so I cut them. So um, it's only the outer corner of my lashes that's really um, exaggerated. Ex exaggerated? Exaggerated. Wow. And the last step is applying my lipstick. So like always, I moisturize my lips before I apply my lipstick. And this is the lipstick that I've been using for a while because it's not too red, neither is it too um too nude. So it's like an even color. This is Lancome in Rose Petal. And it just adds a slight color to your lip. See a difference? It's not too red, but it's not new, too new either. So, and I completely forgot to put on my contacts because um, my contacts is actually like a part of the look that um, for this makeup. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on right now. And that is pretty much it. That's the complete look. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see my contacts. But this is how they look up close. Oh, there you go. You can see them. It is jade color. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, comment them down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!